Look at AJ doing some prep work, hey? Hey guys, if you're watching because you want to know me, my name is AJ. Welcome back to the episode of Let's Build a City. Now, I had to do some boring stuff, some stuff that you guys aren't going to be interested in off camera, like putting down a load of water spots for our farm to go on. It takes forever. In fact, I can tell you exactly how long it takes because whenever I do something like this, I always end up putting a video on YouTube and I just sit and listen to it through my headphones while, uh, while plugging away, building away and stuff. I also built a bit more of the, um, the wall here. We'll just finish this off while I'm talking. Uh, so this time I watched a video about why, well it was actually two arguments, it was two separate videos. And the first one was, why would aliens invade Earth? <laughs> and then the second video was, why would aliens not invade Earth? And there was good arguments for them both, they're going to be pretty torn, I don't know what, if, if they would invade or not now. When I watched the first video about them actually invading us, I thought, yeah, that sounds pretty good, you know, it sounds like they would want to invade us. And then I watched the second part, and I'm like, nah, they definitely wouldn't want to invade us, we're boring. <laughs> so yeah, it took about, uh, I don't know, well it was 40, 40 minutes worth of videos, so I wasn't all here. I was here for about half an hour putting these holes in and doing that wall. About, about half an hour's work. But anyway, uh, we might not touch any of it today, because I actually need it all hoed up, really. Um, so I can start putting the um, the crops in and stuff. But let's start on the inside here today. If I can get like the house area pretty well licked, I'll be happy. And I think we need to start off with our uh, garage here. The nice garage for the place. So I've got, I think I've made a mistake here. Just looking at it, because my stone is one block away from the corner there but is two blocks away from the corner here. Oh, and by the way, I got rid of the dip. Did you guys notice? I got rid of the dip here. Um, we had a couple of really cool ideas. Um, one being a dam, like like a little beaver dam with like, a, I don't know where they thought that the dam would lead. Um, I was thinking when I first read it, if we had the dam like up here, the uh, water could sort of travel down and, and, and down to the ocean there. I don't know, because the river over there is very, very far away. I mean, you'd never be able to get it there. But, like, that's the closest source of water. I thought that, but then I thought it's a little, just a little bit tricky for us to do. Then the second idea was a truck stop. And I really like the idea of a truck stop as well. The only problem with a truck stop is that the, the crater wasn't big enough. Like, like it'd be cool to have, like, a little road that comes off to, like, a parking zone for lorries and stuff like that. It just wasn't big enough. But a truck stop idea is cool. I think we can do it over by the cargo port. It would also make a little bit more sense being right by the uh, industrial area. I've got hiccups. I apologise. Um, so, yeah, a truck stop would be quite cool to do with, like, fuel station and, and a little undercover stuff. I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have, to have a think about it. So, this area here. Let's grab ourselves a stone to match the base. And I'm going to build from this corner. We want five blocks for the garage door. Like bit that goes. And then do we want one block in the middle? If we have one block in the middle for five. It would be like that. Which would be five and five with one in the middle. That's perfect. And it also now matches the tarmac that we've got on the floor. So uh, if it all matches up, we might as well just go with that. Now, I'm going to actually bring this back by one block. Uh, reason being is I don't know how the roof's going to go on the garage. And I don't want the roof to touch the fence. Uh, like like the, the brick wall that we've got going on here. And uh, if we've got two blocks between it, we, even if we do an overhang, we're never going to touch it. You're never going to overhang more than one block. It's just, you're just not. So, let's match up the colours. We're going to obviously do a stone brick foundation and a brick base, uh, brick wall just like the um, the houses, just makes sense. And I think a three block tall, five block wide, our standard garage size will work perfectly for here. Now at the moment, this looks a little bit square, or a little bit like a rectangle really, isn't it? It's a very boring shape, there's not much going on. Now you might think that I've got a plan. I don't. <laughs> but we definitely need to do something, either with the roof, or with the um, edges here of the garage, to get away from this rectangle shape. Nobody, you don't want to build in rectangles ever. Not just in Minecraft, but just in, in real architecture. You never want to build in, in, in squares. We've got like parts that pop out on the house, people that come out the top. We want the same thing on this garage. So what would be cool is maybe if we had... Now that would go... 
if I want to do the same sort of thing, that's on the overhang, and that's actually in line with that's actually in line with that. So that would be like that, and that would be like that. I'm thinking about some kind. How does that? Okay, gotcha. And like that. Maybe they need to be that big. Maybe we can just go with like little one wide ones. Just on top. That gets rid of uh, like the, the boringness on the front look. But then, and do we do it on the back as well? It would be pretty cool to do it on the back as well. And have like an upstairs uh, whenever i imagine this in like a, a garage sort of build i always think like the it's sort of the um uh, games room area you know where where downstairs you've got these couple of really nice cars and stuff there's a staircase up in there and you go to the top and inside is just this uh totally crazy every single console you can imagine like four tvs on the wall really nice glass furniture like a little iron man's like um zone up the top it's just what it reminds me of okay i think with that alone it's going to take away the look of this sort of squareness going on so let's obviously the roof is going to go this way like that and I think I'm gonna do a quartz overhang again to match the actual house okay we, we, we're trying to do this as much as possible to match the, the normal house that goes underneath doesn't it so then we actually have we end up having a um, a theme almost sort of you, you know that these are, are definitely together and that's that's really important to try and get uh, that's not that that should be quartz so that comes up here. You know what? I'll be back. It's a super simple roof. I'll just build it and be back. All right, here we go. I told you it's a super simple roof. You're just building where the stairs go. It's like, there's nothing complicated about it at all. Bloop, bloop. And then bloop, bloop, bloop. That one, the middle section, like that. This one then goes over the top. See, it can't, you, it can't get simpler. It just can't. Make things as easy as you can for yourself. Why try? Why make things more difficult than they need to be? And this one. I added some white edgings on the top of these windows here as well. I think it just neatens it all out. That one. And... Oop, AJ fell down. Ta-da! How cool does that look, hey? It, it looks like it's part of the same build. That's exactly what you want to go for. Okay, garage. Doors. Now, I can never remember what way you have to do it. I'm sure you've got to build it on the inside. Because if you build it on the outside, you just end up... Um, uh, button. If you build it on the outside, you just end up opening it the wrong way. Uh, let's put the button there, and then we can open up both at the same time. Yeah, we're right good push that again yeah if we put that button in the middle when we push this we'll actually uh, end up getting them both like uh open simultaneously and that just looks smart if i put it on the inside can i press it on the outside go out and then push it again over here oh you can that's sick it makes a little like um uh, a little t flip-flop doesn't it how sick is that amazing Okay, so we can now get in and out of the garage. That blends in there really, really nice. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, now I think I want to start laying out these paths uh, out the back here. So let's grab... Oh, I've got, me, I've got a brush on me. For the dirt path, we can't use dirt because it's just going to turn back to grass. So we have to use podzol. I want some clever blocks in him. Some brown wool, definitely. Maybe a little bit of soul sand and some like wet mud. 
And you know what? I'm I'm really thinking about throwing in a a hack. Like I was thinking about throwing in a wood, as it's got a little bit of texture. But maybe just some grey stained clay will be enough, as uh, sort of like a dried mud look. Okay, so that's three two thirty five twelve, three two thirty five twelve. I'm just writing down the numbers. So uh, eighty eight and one fifty nine seven, eighty eight and one fifty nine seven. Okay. Um, and then if we do like a little section here, replace grass with three, two, 53, three, 12, 88 and 159, seven. I've got something wrong. I've got, I'm missing brown wool. 35.12. What did I do? Oh, I done 53.12. 35.12. Undo. Better. Awesome. So now what we need to do is just... I know there's a faster way to do this with, like, um... with Was it masks someone's mentioned in the comments section? There's a way that you can do masks. I'm not talking about, like masks that you wear um i'm talking about uh like 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 photoshop masks basically and uh allows you to like basically paint on top of certain things um i cut he did or, or he or she i don't know if it was he or she uh did say in the comment section how to do it i apologize i just can't remember uh i do want this going down here don't i that's what we were sort of saying so i want this sort of coming down like this somewhere and then that needs to be a little bit wider I think five between sort of four to six blocks seems to be like a, a good number Oops. Uh, for the path you want something wide enough that the uh, attractor can get down I think I might as well keep this pretty much straight all the way down. It looks like the perfect location for it. Look. Oh man, this is such this is so long. Actually worked out better than I thought. Oh, this will actually end up Will that go to Podzol? Podzol doesn't spread, does it? I'm right there, right? Man, I always forget if it does if it spreads or not. If not, they're gonna stay as dirt. It's not too much of a problem. It's almost like the middle of the road, isn't it? I don't think it's the middle all the way. Okay, let's just get rid of those trees so the tractors can get through. Got them stupid hiccups back again. I do, like, when you guys have hiccups, do they, like, almost verge on hurting sometimes? Like mine do. They're, they're like, like you hiccup and they're like, oh, get you right, like right in the stomach. Like mine, mine can, mine can hurt. Huh? Pretty sure. Ah, there we go. As I was say, pretty sure I just had it working. Why would it stop? I just had a. I added a, a, a digit onto the end by accident. Okay, so then we want this one to go down here. Now, the paths are really important to do first. Because if you don't do the paths first... I'm going to have a little smaller section there. If you don't do the paths first, you just waste time by putting all the crops down. And then not actually end up using the space. Oh, that's wide. Let's sort of thin that out a little bit. Uh, yeah, you don't want to just waste time building a load of crops if you're not actually going to use the space. It'd just be pointless. Okay, so that one goes all the way down here now. Might as well just remove these as we go. We get a sort of better picture on the waviness of it. Then you don't want the, them straight either, do you? You want you want to have like a curvy sort of pattern going on. Let's just manually place some of these down. I don't think it makes a difference if that we're just using pods all here. Okay, like that. And then this is where we've I've put the water down, but it shouldn't make too much of a difference. I need that going across there and down there. 
so let's start it off with like a little section. Now we're going to have to be a little bit sort of more precise here because these are going to be a little bit sharper corners. We can't do quite as large areas. We have to sort of be a little bit more thought wary about it all. To try and get the turns right and the feel, the feel good. I think that will be about what we want. Do a little section, neaten it up, smooth it out where you're not liking it. There's no point having the water right in the middle, is there? The path. It's a beautiful path texture. Having the um, all of those blocks in there is superb. It like gives you that real mud feeling. I think each block has its own sort of important reason for being there too. Like the pod saw gives you that dried leaf look. Um, the soul sand is like the wet mud. The clay is like the dried mud. And then um, the dirt is, is that sort of in-between stuff. The stuff that's sort of been really ground into the, uh, into the path. So I think together we, it ends up being a really nice pathway. It's a tricky little one to get. How much, where am I joining this up? At the end there? I'm going to go a little bit more up this way than the uh, original direction did. Take these out. And again, back off. That looks a little bit dodgy. Don't want water in the middle. Water in the middle. Water in the middle looks a little bit thin here. And a little one in the corner there. They'll go back to uh, grass and we'll be fine. In fact, that one, I don't want to go back to grass. Okay, so if I go up and... Oh, I've got a path over there. If we go up in the sky, though, even though we're going through roads, you can see the path, like, leads through it. That's exactly what you want. It goes a little bit thin there. Oh, no, maybe it's just... A, oh, no, it's because it goes downhill there. That's okay, then. That's fine. So, opposite his driveway, we also wanted to go up and around the corner there. It's pretty opposite. Doesn't need to be precisely opposite, does it? Does it? Do I really? Do I mind? I don't think. So. I don't think so. So I'm trying to get a smooth-ish curve going on here. Nothing too crazy. I'm gonna have to add a little bit more onto that. I think I'll go to about here, and then bring that a little bit wider. This side definitely needs to go wider as well. Something like that. Feels about right. Now, well, pus everywhere. Now we can fill that up with... Well, are we going to have... A fe let me get comfy are we gonna have a fence that goes like along the edges of the road and that holds the crops in the middle maybe we do it on some parts but not all parts like maybe we do it on corners and yeah like if we uh we must be running out of time now unfortunately but uh if we had something like this like we don't need to do it the whole way round in fact if i think if we'd done it the whole way round, it would look a little bit boring but if we like on this corner here we do it just sort of leads to there um because you can't it fences don't work too well when going downhill so you need to be like on this side though if we used an actual cobblestone wall i think it'll look a little bit like a crash barrier that runs along the edge because that's quite the cliff there you don't want to have your car falling off there so this this could be like a crash barrier Look at that, it sort of just weaves in there absolutely perfectly. If I take uh, those out, we don't get those weird, like, block changing going on. So at the top here, we can have a little bit more of a fence. Maybe not completely solid. Maybe we just miss a few blocks here and there. Oops, here and there. Not that many. Something like that. I'm not I don't want to go for a broken field, but I don't want it to be like 
hull. That's really cool. Having the wall on that side and the fence on that side. Need to put the iron bars and the um, leaves in there, but we can do that another time. That shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, the fence. The fences really quite make uh, make little parts pop out. That's quite important, really. Actually, I can't really do it on too much other spots because of how how downhill it goes. Maybe I could uh, get something like this going on. That works out quite well. Maybe a little one, like a quarter one on the inside here. That just sort of runs to there. Yeah, I think that works out well. So we're going to have all farm land out the back here. It's a weird bit of terrain there. Move that out a little bit. Much better. Much better. So this is all going to be farms out the back here. Um, I want to have a barn. Oh, how? Co oh, come on. Look at this. So that lines up quite nicely, actually. We could line it up perfectly if we wanted to with the path, uh, the road there. Yeah. Just make that like that. So that lines up perfectly with that. What if we had a barn in the middle that you could drive through? So like for the tractor to get out onto that path there, he could drive through his, you know, through the dirt track, through his barn, and then out there. Oh, now that's, that's sick sounding. Uh, set stone. It looks a pretty good size as well. So, oh, stone. So I'm going to go... Let's just let's just do a rectangle first, and then we're going to dress up the rectangle shape. I've I've got a pretty cool idea. Well, I don't actually have any idea. I, I in my head, I've sort of got an image, but uh, that's as far as it's going to get. I think so. I want something like that, but then I want it to come out like this. So that's three blocks. One, two, three, and then it comes out. One, two, three. So doing this is just going to give us a little bit more of an interesting shape to work with. Like that. I'm thinking about an uh, an arch, obviously. Although it's a... a uh, in fact, this could probably come in there a little bit more. Leave it five blocks wide, yeah. Um, even though it's a barn, uh, or, 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 or even though it's a modern barn, I still want that classic barn arch doorway in the middle. I got those, but they're medieval doors. They've got weird quartz all over it as well, doesn't it? Yeah, it's also an odd number. It's still not big enough. Nowhere near big enough. I feel that's not tall enough. That's that's more the size, isn't it? That's more the size of a barn that you'd want, and then you'd have something like. Oops, I fell. Just putting like a window shape in there. Something like that. Then you'd want like a slow... Uh, a slow like curved roof on it. Would work quite well. That's way too low. Like that, so you have that sort of proper barn style. I think it needs to come up a little bit taller. It needs to come up taller and then go sharper. See, that's that's good there, how that's going to go. You don't want you don't want a point, that's for sure. Yeah, I think that'll better. I think that'll work really well. Alright guys, we're going to leave it there. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode. Bye!